So now we're going to go ahead and watch our Bible story for today, which tells us or which shows us our true identity is found in Christ Jesus and our Lord. So let's go ahead and watch the video. Okay, so. Stories of the Bible that Joshua leads. This is Joshua. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses in the wilderness. Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. Then, as Moses taught the people about God's law, one day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Then Moses called Joshua and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Then Moses died. To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourn. The people of Israel look to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. He instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Joshua told the Israelites that they were going to cross the Jordan River. And so, Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. Okay, wasn't that a great Bible story? Okay. So, continuing on our lesson from last few weeks, we're going to talk about God's masterpiece, all right? And we're going to learn about how our true identity is found in Christ Jesus, okay? So, okay, apparently, okay, you guys know what this game is about. Yes, this is called Minecraft, right? You guys all enjoy this game? Okay, be quiet. Let's settle down. Okay, how many of you, or actually, who can tell me, who can tell me what this is? What is this? Yes, this is called a pickaxe, right? Okay. Now, I have another one. Who can tell me what this is? Yes, this is a sword, right? Okay, so, actually, I wanted to talk to you about the different types of tools uh, that they use, that you guys use in the game of Minecraft. Some of these tools are designed to work on different types of items, okay? You're not going to use a shovel on a tree, right? You're not going to use a pickaxe on a monster. You use a sword on a monster, right? So just as how you would choose the right proper tools to, uh, okay, on, an, on a monster or on an item, okay, God has chosen you to do something very, very special, okay? And uh, if you remember in our story today, Joshua. Joshua was going to be the leader of the Israelites and bring them out of a bad situation and bring them into the promised land. And God chose Joshua just at the right time, after Moses had passed away and after after Joshua had enough confidence, enough courage, enough will to lead his people into the promised land. 
And just as Joshua is chosen, was chosen, you guys are chosen as well as God's masterpiece, right? God chose you guys to do something very special, okay? God chose June, you, to do something very special. God chose Chloe to do something very, very special. And God chose Abby to do something very, very special. And even God chose Helen to do something very, very special. All of you guys, okay? So, um, back when Mr. Brad was young, just like you guys, I had no idea that I would be standing in front of a bunch of you teaching about God's word, okay? Back then, all I wanted to do was play games, play in the playground. He had no idea that he would be sharing the word of God in front of you like this to teach you guys, all right? And God chose me to do this special job, okay? And back then, I didn't know that I would do this, okay? And he would choose you guys to do the same. And, okay. And back when you were a baby, in your mommy's tummy, okay, in your mother's stomach, God has chosen you to do something very special too. And as you grow in your relationship with the Lord, as you get closer with God by praying every day, by reading the Bible, by going to church, by listening to teachers, okay, he will show you exactly what it is that he has chosen you to do, okay? God has this amazing plan, okay? God has this plan that you can't even fathom, you can't even understand, this huge, ginormous plan that he has for us, okay? And he has chosen you, everybody, okay? Rudra, everybody, specifically, even Caleb, Caleb, okay? He has chosen you to do something very specific in his plan because you are, okay, his chosen children. And that's the gift that he has given you, a special purpose, okay? So if you look around, there's a lot of people around this, around uh, living in this earth. There's all kinds of people, right? And God puts you here for a very specific reason. And he doesn't want you guys to be like everybody else. And he doesn't want you to do nothing. 